Welcome back. Coastal Bay Meteorologist Diamond Dixon here with the live look outside our What a Sky Cam overlooking Waterburger Field. Well, once again, that sun is starting to set for our evening, and we're going to see some cooler temperatures in less than about 24 hours. Well, temperature and feel like wise across the coastal bend. We're at 80 in Rockport, 82 in Ingleside, 79 in Port Aransas, 80 also at the Naval Air Station, and 86 here in Corpus Christi, as well as King starting to cool down there it was in the 90s not that long ago so we're starting to come out of our higher temperatures hour by hour we'll come out of the 80s just after six o'clock hanging out in the 70s well into about 11 o'clock you'll also notice here that change in wind pattern we're going from southeast to east southeast to north northeast that's when that cooler air will be pushing towards the coastal bend and we come out of the 70s there just at 1 a.m we'll ride the six well into our Thursday morning starting off in the low 60s but once again we'll hang on to that north northeast wind pattern because that's going to bring along those breezier conditions throughout our Thursday. Now this is just giving you an update on the tropics of course because we still are in hurricane season uh, just for about uh, about 15 16 more days. Well the tropics are still wanting to stay busy and active. The National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye and monitoring what you see this red system here. That is that potential tropical cyclone 19. And so that expected name, the next name is Sarah. Now, this is a broad area of low pressure expected to keep moving west towards the Caribbean. By mid next week, we should have more information on where exactly this system is wanting to go, form, and if we'll really have impacts here in Texas. Now, I Ideally, the cold front pushing through southeast Texas, that's something that would meander away tropical activity. So ideally, hopefully, you know, we could steer in the clear like we've been spared kind of pretty much most of the hurricane season. For our almanac today, we hit a high of 88 degrees, but not as much as in 1951 with that high of 93 degrees. But look, we flip flopped with that record low 36 versus 63. Yeah, nowhere near 36, but once again, we have a cold front on the way that will help lower our temperatures a bit. Looking at the next 6 to 10 days from November 19th through the 23rd, we're going to be likely cooler across Texas. Now, this continues to push and shift where we're getting cooler than normal, where earlier we were normal. That's because we have another cold front that's expected to arrive next week ahead of Thanksgiving. So in November, our high temperatures ideally would be in the mid-70s range, but we've been seeing temperatures in the upper 80s and even low 90s even this week and this past weekend that's what we've been seeing so ideally we do need to be a little bit cooler and the way that we do that is with those cold fronts that come around periodically where you see this small dip on your screen thursday to friday that's the weaker cold front that we'll be getting in less than 24 hours and then the rest of the week will be still above normal temperature wise and then next week we see this curvature here on your screen right here is where we'll get another cold front and we'll be below normal again before thanksgiving that that one will have probably a bigger impact than the one that we're seeing now. With this cold front passage moving through tonight, that's cooler, drier air. So you'll notice that overnight into your Thursday morning, a little bit of shift in the feeling of how it feels outside as well as with the wind. Now with that cooler, drier air pushing through, it's going to limit our rainfall. That's why those chances are low this week. But pretty much between that unlikely and stray shower, the best opportunity to see some rain again would probably be Sunday between isolated and maybe widely scattered. But we'll keep our fingers crossed next week for some rain. Until then, we have that cold front pushing through once again tonight into our Thursday morning. That'll even lower our temperatures into the low 50s for just a couple days, but we'll take it while we can get it.